This is a pair of classic modules that we have available at Vintage King Audio. It's a racked pair of Helios Type 69 Mic Pre EQs. This pair of Mic Pre's is housed in a Boutique Audio and Design custom made rack. And as you can see, Boutique Audio always does a really nice job with their racks. Got 48 volt phantom power and an output level on each channel. And on the back panel, you've got XLR balanced ins and outs for line and XLR balanced in for mic. The Vintage King sticker on the back lets you know that it's already been serviced by our technical department and it'll come with a full one year warranty on the modules. These modules have the red faceplate, which was probably most famously used on the console that was at Strawberry Studios, which was owned by the band 10CC back in the 70s and early 80s. There were a few different Type 69 modules made with small variations in the EQ selection, and this particular module has slightly different bass frequencies. Starting at the top, you've got a selection for line in, mic in, or 20 dB pad for mic in. And you've got a stepped attenuator to set the input gain in 10 dB steps from 20 to 70 dB. Below that, you have the switch for the 10 kHz shelf. That can boost or cut from minus 10 to plus 10 dB in 2 dB increments. For the mid range, you've got a selection of frequencies. 700 hertz, 1, 1.4, 2, 2.8, 3.5, 4.5, and 6 kilohertz. And you've got a switch for peak or trough, in other words, boost or cut, and a continuously variable pot that has about a 10 dB range for either the boost or the cut. Similarly, for the bass frequencies, you can choose 60, 100, 200, or 300, and these can be boosted by about 10 dB. Your only selection for cutting is a fixed 50 hertz shelf, and this can be reduced at minus 3, 6, 9, 12, or 15 dB. At the very bottom are three toggle switches, one for EQ in or out, a phase switch, and a fixed high-pass filter that it can either be left out or set at 40 or 80 hertz. The Helios Mic Pre EQ was made famous back at Olympic Studios when all those great records were being made by the Stones, Led Zeppelin, even the Beatles dropped in and did a couple tracks there. And of course Dick Swettenham left to start his own company with Chris Blackwell of Island Studios and then the Helios name became more widely known around the world. Today the company has been revived and it reissues the Type 69 but if you want the original vintage module you can get them right here at Vintage King.